Hello again, Queen Rain here, and I'm picking up from where I left off. So, for the souls, I picked up the Skull Archer and the Axe Armor. Skull Archer fires enchanted arrows that do a fair amount of damage. They're actually about as powerful as my regular attack is. And the Axe Armor does just a crap load of damage. Also, the Axe Armor happened to drop a leather plate for me, so I got that going for me. So, with that, let's get moving. Go down first. And that was not my swiftest moment there. Okay, the peeping eye can be sort of a pesky enemy to deal with, just because of the way it moves. But only the eye part of the peeping eye can actually hurt you. The uh, tail can. So keep that in mind. I picked up a Mind Up, which recharges your green, the green bar, which is your MP. So now we have to come down this tunnel here. Mind the killer fish. I picked up quite a few levels while searching for the Axe Armor uh, soul, so I'm a lot stronger than I was before. So the blue soul we get is the Flying Armor. So what? So how that soul works... Okay, so there's three types of souls. Four types of accountability types. There's red souls, which are called bullet souls, and they're active when you press up and attack. Blue souls, like the flying armor, are activated when you press and hold or press on, or press and hold usually, the uh, right shoulder button. And yellow souls, which are enchant souls, are active all the time as long as they're equipped. You're usually not going to be able to hit the killer fish until you get a different soul later on. So, let's keep moving. Begin with the peeping eye. Pesky thing. You can just let the bats go by. They're... They can't do a lot of damage, but they're sort of annoying. I'm gonna save here since I picked up the flying armor soul. And with that, we'll move on to the next area. Now, ascending this tower can be sort of nerve-wracking the first time. Particularly this uh, Skull Archer here. The uh, Blue Crows will use a swooping attack to hit you, and they usually knock you over. The Beer only takes one hit if you have the base lard, so don't worry about him too much. He's more of a surprise than, a than an actual threat. So, hop up here, and then use the flying armor to get across. You can only cross this gap with the double jump or with the flying armor. Hurry past this guy here, because he's... he's just mean. And then if you want, you can hop up here, provided you can make the jump. It is possible, it's a little tricky though. Watch out for the zombie soldiers. They, uh, they can do a lot of damage. Okay, to get that potion, you have to hop up here. Ooh, look, another leather plate. I can sell that later. Anyway, to get that potion that I was talking about... The best way to fight Skeleton Knights is to actually have enough space to use the backdash attack, or backdash move, but you can sometimes sort of get away with just being really aggressive. Now, the area that the uh, upper path leads you to doesn't really have any purpose to it at this time, so it's really more of a backtracking thing than anything else. You want to liberally use the uh, 
Spell Archer's Soul in this hallway. The uh, zombie commandos are very powerful up close, but at range, not so much of a threat. Don't eat rotten meat if you ever pick it up. It decreases your health instead of increasing it. There's a soul later on that remedies that little issue, though. Look out! Okay, the zombie soldier will throw grenades at you. Or zombie commando, I guess it is. Whatever. Anyway, they throw grenades at you that are fairly damaging. As for the skeleton there, you can sort of half ignore him. It's also possible to swat um, skeleton projectiles out of the air. Okay. This hallway is just full of zombies and a few skeletons. Just try to make your way through it quickly so that you don't deplete too much of your health, because you will need as much of it as possible for the next zone. Ah. Not my swiftest moment there. Okay. Try not to get hit by him, he's just kind of strong. We picked up the Tiny Devil, which creates Vortex Blades. That's it right there. Good wise guy, huh? Look out for the rock armor! I've gotten a hammer from the rock armor. Must be hammer time, eh? Okay, that joke is really old. Now, the problem with the hammer is that it's powerful, but it's very slow. So, I'm going to keep using the base lard for now. We can only get this soul or this sword later on after we pick up a certain soul. And here's our next save point. So, like before, I'm going to cut the video here and uh, go back and grind up some souls, and I'll see you guys uh, next time.